Just two days after the looting in Philadelphia, a Michigan high school student used their cell phone to capture a disturbing classroom assault. An angry student attacked her teacher with a metal chair at Flint's Southwestern Classical Academy. In a letter to parents, Flint Community School Superintendent Kevlin Jones described the attack as an altercation between two scholars. But he should have called it what it was, an out-of-control criminal assault against a staff member. And it was anything but scholarly. Jones assured parents the school was taking proactive steps to ensure the situation is handled effectively. The effective way would be to immediately expel the student from the school and file criminal assault charges. It looks like the teacher was knocked out cold and probably physically harmed. I pray she's all right. The letter didn't describe her condition or the action taken against the offending student. It only states that the incident would be thoroughly investigated and all actions would be fair and just. And Jones explained that the school district understands that incidents like these can be concerning. Concerning? How about alarming? and unacceptable. Folks, unruly juveniles have been coddled far too long. The attitude voiced by some parents and educators is, they're there, have your tantrum, I know you're frustrated, go ahead, express your feelings, everything will be all right, I know you're a victim of an unfair system. Tell that to the teacher who's probably recovering from a concussion or a cracked cranium. The 15-year-old student was arrested and charged with felonious assault. And the students of Flint Southwestern Classical Academy, they deserve better than this. They deserve to receive a quality education in a safe environment. Yes, we can go on blaming pandemic lockdowns for all the student anger and misbehavior in our public schools today. But I believe all of this started 60 years ago when prayer and faith were removed from American classrooms. Folks, kids are looking for guidance, discipline, something to believe in. Let's return to teaching them about conduct and consequences, morality, respect, and faith. Now that would be the best place to start to turn things around. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, and Rumble. And until next time, be blessed.